These are times of great change and you are the ones leading the change now. A new reality. I have trust. We are not so different from each other. Each heart has the power to change. Hi, this is Maya from the Worldwide Good News, and I have an amazing woman with me today. I have Sarit all the way from Israel, who is part of the amazing group who did Children of Liberty, a wonderful Hebrew, English, Arabic song uh, and video for uh, the Egyptian people, uh, a song from the Israeli people to the Egyptian people. And I wanted to talk a little bit about this amazing project and what's going on in the Middle East. Hi, Sarit, how are you? Hi, Maya. Good. Thank you. Well, first of all, I really want to commend you. It's a really amazing project. Uh, how did you think about doing this project? Who, were, who was the group of people you were working with? Um, I don't know exactly who was the first one to bring the idea, but generally it's an idea of a group. Like the whole project was a project of a group. It's a group of people um, who go quite often to Sinai in Egypt and have a lot of uh, Egyptian friends. And as this revolution started, there was some need to express a voice of support to, the, to first of all, to the friends we all know. Very personal need. And then this group of people really quickly, it was really, I think it happened in, uh, in, in two days. Everybody gathered together and got the, some ideas from lyrics here, a line of music there. And then a few people uh, like Mark Eliao, uh, who was uh, leading the, um, the music aspect, uh, be composing the, the, the song. And uh, people like uh, Dvir Cohen and uh, Gab Gabriel uh, Mayer Levy wrote the lyrics in one one night. It was the recording, and then a few days of editing, and here it is. Just a labor of love. You just wanted to show your love and support to your friends, and it, it really is a sense of an amazing message of peace. Can you tell me a little bit more about the group of people? Because they are quite amazing people. As you can see, many of them are um, musicians, mm -hmm. artists, uh, who have a lot of musician friends. Mm -hmm. um, who, people who are really interested and are involved in the, in the Eastern culture, in the local culture, uh, who are influenced by um, local uh, Arabic culture and music. As, as as you can see, many of the people are actually dark. Many mm -hmm. of the people are actually um, coming from families who have who are, who are originally coming from uh, Arabic countries, Jewish Jewish Arabic countries and um, Jewish Arabic families. So this is actually, I think, a movement that is happening in Israel. That a lot of people. There was a time when. People were kind of hiding this identity, but there is more and more need and, and more and more openness to really uh, relearn um, all this, this knowledge and reconnect to this culture. And this is part of what's bringing this, these people to meet uh, their friends in the Arabic countries and long for more and more contact. But you are creating a peace Music, music culture of the Middle East without any borders. I mean, that's, I think, what you are trying to do, accomplish. Yes, and this is a, con a continuation of, of the work of uh, many people. One of them is Liziv, who's uh, having a, a project called Mosaic, which is, this is actually, that's the, the goal, and that's the idea of this group of people, to really connect through music, which is, which has no boundary. Yeah, that's wonderful. And I'm just going to mention a little thing that Lee happens to be my first cousin, and I'm very proud of her. <laughs> and uh, you are all doing amazing work for peace in the Middle East, and I want to thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, and is there any other projects like this? I think there are um, 
there are a few more um, plans and um, and I guess it was just an appetizer and you know just seeing the amazing responses it just shows that this is a, a, an amazing way of uh, communication and creating really new bridges and new it's just a starter for a, a whole uh, huge I think I hope movement of people who will com communicate, young people. Communication through music and without any boundaries and finally utilizing the beautiful tool of the internet to connect like we're doing right now. Yeah. Okay. No boundaries, no borders, just connection. Yes. And use, you know, using the media consciously, really yeah. using it to, to do good. Neighbors we always be sharing dreams for liberty It's all about you and me Our courage will set us free Rise up for dignity Changing our reality Human rights and unity There's a real feeling of that there's a wave of a democratic peace culture in the Middle East that I know a lot of Israelis are a part of it. Can you tell me more about what's happening, how are you seeing the future, uh, what's happening on the ground and your participation in it? This video is expressing a, a voice which is maybe not heard enough in the, in the formal media. Um, there's not only fear, you know, as there are a lot of people who see great hope in what's happening. We all, it's not like we're not realistic. We, we know, none of us knows how it's going to develop. But we all have great hope because uh, we all now know that there is a whole young generation who wants exactly what we want and uh, what many, so many people want all over the world. We all want to be free. We, we all know that democracy is the best way we know for now to, uh, to uh, maintain uh, human rights and freedom. And um, we know for sure now that there are uh, a lot of people in the in the Arab world who are uh, wishing to express this voice and to live in this way. And it's I think this is the amazing opportunity for us to show support and to connect with this with this voice with these people. You were the editor of the song and you really help facilitate it with a group of amazing people. What else do you work on to actually facilitate this connection with other uh, other citizens of the Middle East to actually connect beyond the borders of the, all of the countries there? Um, well, me personally? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. you personally. <laughs> Toot your horn. <laughs> well, um, my main um, my main occupation, or my life actually, is uh, Kundalini Yoga. And mm. Kundalini Yoga is a practice which helps connect one to his or her um, potential. And we all have amazing potential. And we all, acknowledging that we all are uh, not human beings having a spiritual experience, but spiritual beings having a human experience. And when we connect to this um, identity, then this is, I think, the most uh, common ground for all of us to connect. Um, and this is why I've uh, now moved to this place where I'm now, which is my home and my studio in Jaffa, which is a mixed city, which has a population of Jews and Muslims with, um, with the intention of bringing people together through the yoga, but not only through the yoga, through uh, keeping my, my home as a, an open place which facilitates all kinds of meetings and gatherings through sharing life stories like we had last week, or through music, through meditation, through food. You're a, a living example of, of doing what you believe in, in the smaller scale and on the bigger scale, in the smaller scale, opening your house to, you know, whoever can come and the biggest scale, creating this amazing work of art and love and positivity with a group of amazing people and sending it on the internet so it can reach the masses. 
thank you and thank and I'm I really really feel honored to have had the, the the opportunity to work with this amazing group of people. And I really 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 wanted to thank you for that because that really touched my heart and I've touched so many people's heart. Uh, just this beautiful offering of peace and love to your neighbors. So thank you, Sarit. Thank you, Maya. And uh, this was Maya from the Worldwide Good News. We just want to share our hearts with you.